Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and now in this video tutorial what we will be doing is that whenever the user fill this sign up form and when he click on this sign up button then it should go to the, uh, uh, you can see it goes through the confirmation form. So basically we will send this data which is uh, Mohamed Ali and all these things, I mean the text boxes data and we will display it here on our confirmation form. So in this video you will learn that how you can send data from uh, uh, from one form to another form in C Sharp Visual Studio. So yeah, let's do that. So go to the Visual Studio and we have left here, okay, in the previous video tutorial. And if you have not watched the previous video tutorial, then please go and watch the previous video tutorial first, okay? So the easy way to send data from uh, one form to another form, which I already told you, is by using uh, basically static variables. I mean static attributes name, okay? You can see the static keyword with the attributes because we can access these attributes on our confirmation form which is our second form without creating the object okay once we declare uh, attribute or any method here on our this sign of form uh, let's say static then we cannot create an instance or you can say an object of that method or attribute we can't access these attributes uh, those ex uh, i mean the attributes and uh, methods which are static we cannot access them uh, using the object of that class we can access these variables directly here on the second form by uh, using this sign up class name you will understand everything once we uh, complete this so now let's do that so go to the confirmation.cs okay and this is our form so we want that whenever uh, it send us to the confirmation form then it should display all these uh, data from the sign up form so i will simply click uh, double click on this form and it will create the confirmation board uh, event handler and now here we will uh, get the data from our sign up form and we will display it on our confirmation form so to get the data uh, as i told you i will just use the form uh, name which is sign up dot and now i can access those fields which are there so the first one is our uh, first name which is by name f name okay and if i show you then here you can see f name okay and we are basically assigning values to it from the text box on our sign up form you can see that so we are accessing that and now we are going to display this name on our this uh, field which name is your uh, lbl f name okay so here we can say lbl f name dot text equals to this and the same we will do for the last name and for the email address so we can copy paste this and we will change the uh, values of it to l name and it is by the name lbl l name and for the email address we have label email address and the attribute name is email address so these are for the text boxes now we have the check boxes so for the check boxes i can simply write if sign up dot sms which are basically the attributes name here this one okay sms and we are checking it here on you can see this so here we can simply say if it is true then we can assign a tick to it okay so lbl sms dot text equals to put these two uh, quotations and now to uh, you can also write here true false that is just like that but if you want to use the tick sign or you can say a tick icon basically the tick uh, sign you can say then you can simply go to google and here you can uh, write tick sign and then press enter and here you can see it will show you these icons okay or this uh, you can say these symbols whatever it is you can simply copy this select this control c and now go to your visual studio and paste that sign here you can see this okay and now uh, we can copy paste this for the other two and the second one is the reports and the third one is the transactions and now let's run the app so the app is running now successfully and now let's test this 
so I will write my name Mohammed and the last name Ali and then my email address and then you can choose uh, SMS notification transaction reports and all these things but I will uh, uncheck this let's say because we need to test it so I choose all of these I mean Muhammad Ali and this and only the SMS notification and reports now if I click on sign up here we go here you can see this first name Muhammad Ali last name Ali and this is my email address and I check the SMS notification and the reports but in case of reports it's do not uh, give us the text sign and now the reason for this is we have to check it go to the end of studio sorry to the visual studio and by mistake I mean we just forgot to change this LBL reports okay which is this one LBL reports and in case of transaction it will be LBL transactions so yeah and if you want to hide the previous form then go to the signup.cs and here when we say uh, this okay c.show then before this we can say this dot hide I hope you know these things because we have already used this in our previous video tutorial and now let's click on start and our app is running now and now we can test it properly Mohammed Ali and then email address and now from here you can choose any option you want for now I will choose the reports and the uh, transaction report so I will click on sign up and here we go you can see this reports transaction reports and this one is uh, I do not check this so that's why it is cross and uh, reports and transaction reports are selected and the first name last name and this so it is working fine I mean this is amazing this is incredible so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel coding cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now